اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جی پاور اٹ از اسٹیٹسٹیکل ٹول دیٹ وی کین یوز ٹو کیلکولیٹ اور سامپل سائز ناؤ اٹ از ایزیلی اویلیبل آن انٹرنیٹ فری ٹو ڈاؤن لوڈ جسٹ سمپل گوگل جی پاور It has got other advantages too, but for now we are just going to focus on how to use G-Power to calculate a sample for our study. Now I'm yet to do a study and let's assume I've got a study with three predictors that are affecting an outcome. And I plan to use structural equation modeling. In such case, how will I use G-Power? Here is the software. Now... What I'm going to do is, once you open the software, from test family, you have to select F-test. And from statistical test, you have to select linear multiple regression fixed model R square deviation from zero. Now, a priori compute required sample size. Now, this is when you are doing the sample size calculation before you have done the actual data collection and you want to calculate what is a good sample size. Now, The input parameters are effect size. Now, there are three effect sizes normally. It's 0.02 for small effect, 0.15 for median effect, and 0.35 for large effect. Now, what is an ideal effect size? Well, there is no right answer to it. But normally, we will go for a medium effect. Now, in order to learn more about F-square, please, there are videos on the channel as well. Plus, you can Google it to learn more about F-square. Now, there is another way to determine your F-square effect size. And that is, go on and see what existing research papers have done. What is the normal effect size in existing research pertinent to your area of study? And what they have found. Now, the probability, 0.05 in social sciences. Now, the power. So, the default is 0.95. The minimum is 0.80. We normally require this much power in our model. Now, the reference for it will be shared in the description. A number of predictors. In this case, I've got three predictors that are influencing an outcome. Now, very simple model. Three variables. influencing a dependent variable. So what is my expected sample size or what should be my sample size in this case? Calculate the minimum sample size required is 77. So this is how you can use the G power to calculate your sample size. Now let's assume I've got a model. Let's say I've got a model where I've got one predictor Then I've got a moderator. And then I've got a DV. Now, as we know that when we are predicting a dependent variable and, and the model has a moderator, there is another predictor added during analysis and that is the interaction term. So, in this case, you have three predictors rather than two predictors. For example, let's say I've got two moderators, M1 and then M1. M2 and both predicting this outcome. So the moderators are actually moderating the relationship between X and Y. So I will have two interaction terms. Now in this case, I've got one, two, three, four, five predictors. So what is the required sample size in this case? The minimum power required 0.80. All else is good. Let's calculate. So I need a sample size of 92. So in this case, I need the sample size of 92. What if I increase the effect size? So I want stronger effects in my model. Let's calculate. The sample size is, or the minimum required sample size is 43. So as you increase the effect size, your sample size requirements decrease. Now, this is one way to use G-Power analysis to calculate the sample size for your study. You can use G-Power to calculate your sample size when you are yet to conduct your study or you are yet to collect your data. 
for structure equation modeling. Thank you very much.